There's a secret recipe to creating great video games. And almost every single amazing video game, be it a base builder, be it uh, an RPG, be it a first person shooter, they all hit the, the parameters of this secret perfectly every single time. The games that's almost always relegated to the annals of history are the ones that either tried to paint outside of these parameters or didn't hit those parameters perfectly, right? Ace, thank you so much for 100 bits. I really appreciate that. I hope your week is amazing as well. The parameters for all games, right, is niche. Identifying and finding your niche. It's what every game is about, right? Especially when you're talking about the majority of Steam games. Single player games are notorious for catering for very small niche areas. So take a game like Oxygen Not Included, for example. It is an, a massive game, right? It's a huge game, but it caters to an extremely niche audience. Is everyone going to play Oxygen Not Included? No. Do they want everyone to play Oxygen Not Included? No. The game wasn't designed for everyone. It was designed for a very specific audience and they made sure that only that audience is targeted. They didn't throw things like combat into the mix. They didn't throw things uh, like base destruction into the mix because they knew that for this specific audience, those things are not important. That audience will not play if those things are present. Most games that fail, as I said, miss that niche or try to cater to too much of that niche. So they try to cover too many niches. Take a game like uh, Call of Duty. It covers for the people pew pewing in the head. That's it. It has to cover for no one else. Just the people that's being pew pewed. Now, we've spoken about this at length in the past. When you take a game like Final Fantasy, like World of Warcraft, any MMO on the market, these games are far too expensive to just cater for a single niche. It will never fucking work. Never. You spend millions of dollars creating an MMO. You need as many people to play it as humanly possible. So what does that mean? It means that you have to have the freedom within an MMO, within an MMO to cater for as many niches as possible without creating a scope that is unsustainable. So... What does that mean? Is there anyone that, that sort of wants to um, take a guess at what does it mean when a scope in a video game in an MMO becomes unsustainable? When you imagine that MMOs are basically a collection of 30 to 40 different single player video games only set in a specific IP uh, and one game. What does it look like when the scope becomes unsustainable? Uh, Shane, close. Uh, it, it is. Wow, scope is unsustainable. But basically, what it looks like is when you look at someone like Ian Azicostas and you look at how he designs World of Warcraft, right? The idea becomes that we want to design the game so that everyone plays it, right? We want everyone to play our game. Not that we want everyone to find a reason to play our game. No, we want everyone to play our game. So what does this look like in, in an MMO that isn't sustainable? This means that when you set out to design the different systems, so remember, systems isn't the problem. Systems is everything. The very fact that your character is running from point A to point B is a system, right? It's literally a system within the game that makes the character run. Uh, combat is a system within the game. You can have many systems. The question is, how are they implemented? Right? Uh, in a game like World of Warcraft, the idea is we'll design a couple of systems and then we'll make the systems so that everyone plays them. The issue with this is that is not a sustainable scope because your scope then becomes too broad because now a single system have to fix or have to cater to, like, uh, let's say, a very diverse audience has to find something that they like within the system. The system has to be designed for the casual player, the hardcore raider, the casual raider, the PvPer, 
um, the Mount Collector as well as the Transmog Collector and the ERPer, right? They they must all now find something in the game in that system. Does that sound sustainable to you? D does it sound like you can build a system to cater to those to the, to all of those players? Which Blizzard would cater to the ERPers? But you know, yeah, but I mean, just use them as an example. You you can't really do that, right? Take Torgos, for example. It can't cater to that group of players. It's too many players that it needs to try catering for. So what ends up happening to that system? Adam, how you doing, bro? What ends up happening to Torgos? It fails for everyone. Because the parts of Torgos that's supposed to cater to the hardcore raider doesn't cater to the RP or the collector or the casual player. The parts of Torgos that caters to the casual player, the RP -er, and the... Uh, uh, the, 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 the collector doesn't cater to the hardcore player. So the system itself just fails. It, it, it just doesn't work. The answer, the correct answer, is to say, right, let's create a system for the hardcore raider. Then we create a system for the casual player. Then we create a system for the collector. Then we create a system for the RPer and for the ERPer. And we make sure... Uh, you guys all know that sort of meme. It's a joke, right? Where they say, if you want to be happy in life, find a woman that, that cooks for you. Find a woman that makes you laugh. Find a woman that's great at sex. Find yourself a woman that, that um, is a great listener. And above all else, make sure that none of these women ever fucking meet, right? That's how you design a great MMO. You design a system for every single player or type of player in your game, and you make sure above and beyond all else that none of these systems ever fucking meet. They must exist on their own, completely devoid of in uh, any interaction between groups. No, Atom Jar, you don't segregate your players because the world is still where the players come together. There is still stuff in the op open world that exists for people to exist in that world. The systems, however, exist for every single player based on what they love and based on what they care about, right? Uh, Curators, thank you much for the follow, dude. Uh, split, split Faction, thank you for the follow, really appreciate that. Um, the open world is the one system that ties it all together, which is why you need a vibrant open world. You need an open world with world bosses that's sort of challenging that hardcore raiders can go after. You need an open world with stuff that collectors can go for. You need an open world with battle pets that pet collectors can go for. You need a, an open world with transmogs that people can go for and achievements that people can go for. Because the open world is where all of those players, when they're not playing their individual systems, they're hanging out in the open world. And this is where they're meeting and sort of congregating and doing different things. And also remember that you're not ever actually se segregating your player base because there is cross-pollination. Uh, there is cross-pollination between the groups because sometimes a casual player might like this system because it caters to the casual player in him, but he also likes a little bit of raiding. So he's partaking in two of your systems. That right there means that this group and this group is actually meeting somewhere. You can't have it mixed in. The second these systems start touching, you have a problem where these systems now have to cater way too broadly and then they fail, as they've done since Legion. Every single system since Legion's implementation have failed because of this fundamental point that Blizzard still doesn't seem to grasp. They keep making one wife right that has to adhere to all of the boxes need like one wife has to tick all of the boxes to make the player happy rather than getting multiple wives and just making the player happy that way right as it pertains to our earlier joke um and blizzard keeps struggling with this i don't know if they're ever going to not struggle with this it doesn't seem like it 